Are you getting tired of paying ridiculous prices for Disney Plus, Netflix, Hulu, and the others? Well, you came to the right video. So this journey started after Disney Plus announced that they would increase their annual prices to $160 a year. So if you were also paying for Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, and Prime, you're looking to spend around $600 a year just to rent these movies. So naturally, I took this as a challenge. So you can find DVDs locally for around a dollar, like at Goodwill or even pawn shops, but if you want like a specific movie that you can't find locally, you'll probably spend $5 around that on eBay. Let's say I buy 50 DVDs and that's about $100 for throwing all the different areas in there. I now own these physical copies and then I can make a digital file and put them into a server where I can just watch these at home like I would Netflix. So I'm talking, I can use this on my TV, my phone, or even a tablet. All inside my home or outside if I'm traveling. And this was the ideal situation because my daughter just watches the same Disney movie over and over. So why would I spend $160 a year just for her to do that or I can buy it for $5 on eBay and have her do that and the service is free. So I think we all agree on what we should do, right? So all you have to do is use that free software and use an old laptop or computer you have, take that physical disk into a digital file and put it into this server, which is all free. You just have to own the media. So let's get started on how to create this free Netflix from home. So let's get started with creating our Plex account. This is a free account. You can just sign in with your Google. That's what I did for this example. So you can sign up for free right here, continue with Google, and then you can choose your account. It'll take you to a separate page. Click sign in again, click sign in. Next, you can click your media, go to save my choices, and then go to get Plex media server and you can download this to your computer. For example, I'm using the Apple MacBook. I have both Windows, that's my old laptop I'm using for my server, and for this example, I'm using the MacBook to show you the process of that. So we'll click Download. When the download finishes, we'll open it. We'll click it to open the Plex Media server. We'll sign in. We'll click Got It, and then it'll take maybe 30 seconds to a minute to set up the server. You can name it whatever you want, and I also recommend to allow it outside of your home if you want to have that. They also give you access to add library already. You can click that if you already have a folder in mind where you're gonna put all your movies, and I show you how to do that here. You can name it. You can browse for the media folder. And when you're done, you just click Add, and then Add Library. And then you can go to the left of your screen, where it shows the different selections, and you'll see a new Movies tab opened. And right now, it's empty. So right here, we have Megamind, the DVD, and we want to put it on our computer so we can use our external DVD drive. So let me show you how to do that. You'll open this up. There's a button on the side here. You open it up. Put your Mega Mine or whatever DVD you want in here. Make sure you hear that click on there. Push it in. And now it's in our DVD drive and our computer is going to read that as well. So let me show you the free software you need to make this work. The free software is Make MKV. I'll have a link to that in the description down below. But since it's showing that Mega Mind is on there, we can click that disk drive right there. And it's going to take a second to check all the chapters, all the subtitles. It will be able to remove all the stuff before and after the movie if you wanted to, which is awesome. That way you can get right into the movie. Once that's ready, it's gonna bring up all these different selections. So what I personally select is the one with the most chapters because that's your movie. And it's also the largest file. The other titles on there are typically the behind the scenes or the bonus things on the disc. I don't personally use those because you can just find those all on YouTube. So I recommend you just pick up the movie, which would be the largest file on there. So unselect everything and just have the movie selected. Next, you want to tell the computer where you want this new file to go. So you'll select a different folder. For example, I have a needs to be compressed folder, which is a separate one from 
the folder you will use for your Plex server. So create a different folder, just say needs to be compressed because the five gigs or the six or seven gigs you're gonna make out of this movie is gonna be very large. And the compression will make it around a gig or smaller, which will help with your storage. When you're ready, you'll click the green arrow on the right. When the file's done, we'll click OK. So that took around 10 to 30 minutes, depending on your DVD. We're going to go to that folder where we put the MKV, which is that video file, and we're going to rename it to the movie. That way, Plex can find it easier with the software it's using. So, for example, Megamind is the movie we have, so I'm going to name it that .mkv. We'll need another software to compress the file, which is to make it smaller and that is called Handbrake. So what you do is go to Open Source on the left. Once you click that, you can drop the file onto there. So we will, so we will grab Megamind, left click and drag on there, and we're going to click Add to Queue. We can also browse where to save it, and then that will eventually turn into an mp4 file, which is going to be a lot smaller than the mkvs that we're making. And it'll be put into a queue, as you see right here. And when that new file is in the folder we dedicated to our Plex server, we can hit the button that says Scan Library, and that way it will find new movies that we've added to it. I'm also going to delete the larger files that we're not using and those are the MKVs. We no longer need those. So I'm going to move the new files, the MP4s, into the folder we told Plex to look at, and then we're gonna click the three dots up here and go scan library files, and we're gonna add some new ones. And you'll see at the top right, it's showing activity. So we have our new movies onto our Plex server. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this video helped. And now that you have your own Netflix server, watch some movies.